Hey, how's it going? I got a quick one for you. This week, highly technical video that most of you won't be interested in, but non-ProMaster owners may be interested in. I took the opportunity. These vans suffer from a quite a rare, pro not vans, but this engine can occasionally, in a very rare instance, have the tone wheel shift on the camshaft, any given camshaft. It is just pressed on there, and it's pretty rare, but it happens. There are instances of it happening. There are instances of it being fixed by replacing a camshaft or even turning the uh, Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics has a couple of very, very good videos on a minivan where he was able just to turn and reclock this tone ring that lives on the end of each, uh, of each camshaft. Um, I thought it would be useful to put, uh, there is a tool that measures the actual thing, but I haven't been able to find a place to buy it. But just a visual inspection should give you an idea of if you're off. Um, the resultant codes of this problem would be P0016 through P0019 or possibly a P0348 or I think 349 um, camshaft position code. You would know this before you went into this engine by comparing the, uh, looking at the, the, the cam position difference. The computer stores a value for the desired camshaft position for each cam. The actual camshaft position for each cam is measured by the cam position sensor. And, uh, and then calculates a difference and expresses that in a PID. We have seen this code fire when it's above 10 or 11% difference, or I'm sorry, degrees. And you will note that your cam positions, I don't know why, but always at idle on a warm engine, the rear cam, uh, bank one exhaust cam, will be quite a bit higher in its, in its degreed difference, that value will be 7%, 6%, 8%, uh, and the other three will be relatively the same at normally three per, I keep saying percent, I mean degrees. Uh, the other three cams will be at two degrees different, three degrees, maybe four degrees, but the, but, but exhaust number one, or odd bank number one, bank one exhaust will be at a, a quite a bit higher than the other two. That's normal and, 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 uh, I don't know why, but it is. So I suppose if you're getting these codes and you're finding that your cam is, any one cam is out more than 10 degrees, uh, you should look for that. Also, while you're in there, you should check the galley plugs. Each head, there's two plugs in each head that, that simply block off oil flow to the galley that, that drives the rockers and lifters. And, if, and those bolts tend to work loose. It's pretty, I mean, it's it's simple. It's a 13 millimeter bolt and you can tighten them. It's tricky, but you can tighten them without having to remove anything. Always, when you have the valve cover off, check those bolts because if they work loose, they will fall out and then you'll have no oil pressure on that cam and, and bad things will happen. And of course, bad things will happen if the bolt works its way down into something spinny. That would be bad. We have found many, many loose galley bolts and I'm always very happy to tighten them up because that's a known problem. Um... They live right behind the phasers on each cam, and, and they're hard to get to, but you can you can get to them, and you'll have to flip the wrench over to torque them down. Anyway, this video will show you where your uh, tone rings should normally be, with the only reference that I have being that little hole in the tone ring, and that's what that factory tool measures. It measures the difference. You put it at, at the zero position, and, and it'll fit on one side and then fit on the other side, and that shows you where your tone rings should be. Here we go. As your cam sits, this is the bank one or uh, uh, bank uh, or the right bank exhaust cam. And as it would sit like this with its alignment holes pointing up, your notch, your cam timing notch would be, the best I can tell, exactly at 90 degrees. In other words, as I'm look, as I'm sighting down the thing here, I've got my alignment holes, both of them facing straight up where I can read uh, 3.6 liter and right exhaust. We're at 90 degrees. There's your holes. Basically hard to do this in reference to the camera. Straight up as I come up, you'll see your hole is off to maybe, I would call that seven o'clock, maybe a little bit less, six, 652. So that gives you some kind of an indication. Can I see if I can put this exactly? Something like that. I would say that hole is, should be right there. Hard to do. Somewhere between six and seven. 
All right, these two I'm able to do in position. This is the front cams, and currently, as you can see, we have the cams in the home position where uh, we're straight up and our arrows are aligned. So you would see those slots on the phaser straight up and you would see the two arrows point directly at each other. I, it's, it's a top dead center is what it is, and it, but it would be top dead center for cylinder number one in the rear. This is two, four, and six. Anyway, the important part and why you're here is this. So with us ourselves, I'll see if I can get this in the best parallax. Okay, I spy the intake, I'm sorry, the exhaust cam, which is the nearest one to you. There is its alignment hole. And I would say that is not, well, it's pretty darn close to exactly at, at uh, pointing directly to the left as in line with our reference mark. If reference is straight up, that's basically pointing 270 degrees, whatever. And then here on the intake cam, there we go, there's our hole. Now it is not, it is not directly vertical, as you can see. If I align the camera with the cam cap, it'd be something like that. You'd be offset a little bit. Now, are these measurements gonna be exact enough for you to correct a slip tone ring on a cam? Maybe. You can certainly check. These are goddamn lovely man. 